Yes, yes. Welcome back to the Watford Way and welcome to our match day vlog for Watford versus Blackburn Rovers. Now, I have to say, I had an awful night's sleep and I've completely changed my score prediction for this game. I've woke up feeling quite nervous, I've woke up feeling quite on edge because this is a massive game for Watford. It's a massive game in terms of, you know, beating one of our rivals in that playoff race. It's a massive game for getting our form back on track. We've had a load of injured players now come back, like the Tom Cleverley, Joao Pedro, Ken Semmer, all may be available to play today. Um, so I do think it's going to be tighter than I anticipated in my match preview. Originally, I went for a 3-0 Watford win. I woke up feeling a little bit less optimistic, but I will still go for a Watford win. So my score prediction for today is 2-1 to Watford. Joao Pedro and Ismail Assar with the goals in this game. Let's go to Watford. <laughs> Hello, I'm back home now and I have to say I am absolutely shattered and drained after watching that Watford performance. What I'll do is I'll start with the positives before I go on a little rant in just a second. Um, so yeah, look, the positives from this game were for me, I think, you know, it's obvious to everyone in the stadium, the two new centre-backs in Ryan Portiers, who for me was the man of the match. And Wesley Hute, who got the goal on his debut for Watford today, were the standout performers for me. It's a little bit concerning that the two centre backs, um, you know, are getting man of the matches. However, they both put in really, you know, astute, professional, um, you know, classy performances. Ryan Portis, especially, really did not put a foot wrong in this game. So, you know, fantastic um, you know, performances from them, and you know, all praise from me goes to them. Unfortunately, um, you know, as I just mentioned, it was a really frustrating day for Watford. Blackburn, you know, are up there with Watford in terms of, you know, challenging for them player positions. It was key Watford, you know, got a positive result today and that result, you know, should have been a win. And we had the chances to win the game throughout, you know, many, many chances. Mario Gaspar, Keenan Davis, Ismail Assar, Ismail Kone, um, you know, Watford could have scored three, four, five goals today if we was more clinical. However, you know, same old, same old. Every week I sit here and I say the same things. We weren't clinical. We didn't take our chances. And we conceded a silly goal. Bradley Dack got the goal for Blackburn Rovers. Danny Batman made a good save. He was too slow to get up. Um, and it's a tap in for Dak at the far post. And, you know, Blackburn went ahead, um, you know, in the first half quite comfortably. You know, both teams play some good football at times. But for me, it was just a really, really frustrating day for Watford because they were there for the taking. We had many opportunities. We dominated the ball. We dominated possession. Um, and actually, a lot of the possession we had was just, you know, recycled between Ryan Portillas, Wesley Hoot, the two midfielders. And there wasn't really much progression in terms of moving the ball forward, you know, to our wide players. We had plenty of, you know, quality available to us today. We had a really, really strong bench. Tom Cleverley, Imran Luza, Britta Sombolonga, Ken Semmer, Tom Cleverley. You know, there's a lot of quality on that bench that came on in the second half. And we had a lot of quality that started the game as well. João Pedro was a breath of fresh air. He was absolutely superb, as he always is. His Myla Saar didn't offer enough for me. Again, you know, he's very hit and miss. Um, 
And for me, you know, I am concerned for Watford's future in terms of getting promoted to, to the Premier League. I'm concerned for the future of Slavan Bilic, you know, whether Gino has the patience to at least give him until the end of this season. Um, you know, because Watford have a really tough run of fixtures coming up. We've got West Brom next. Uh, we've got Burnley next, sorry. Then we've got West Brom the following week. So, you know, the fixtures don't get any easier. Um, you know, I can see that Burnley game being quite embarrassing for Watford if we don't sort ourselves out. So hopefully Gino does have the patience to stick with Bilic. I think for me, I'd just like to see a bit more um, of a plan, you know, going into these games. I think second half, Watford seemed to wake up. Um and, you know, show a bit more attacking intent. But the first half, we're always, you know, really, really slow, quite dull to watch. So hopefully that includes going forward. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the vlog today as well. Let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments section below. As I said earlier, my man of the match is Ryan Porteous. It was a superb performance. Uh, congratulations to Wesley Hoot for a, you know, really superb goal on his debut. Actually, for a centre-back, it was a cracking finish. So, you know, fantastic, uh, you know, goal there from Wesley Hoot. Please subscribe to the Watford Way as well by clicking the button down below. It would be much appreciated and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.